This video is going to show you how to create a rubric using I created the slice. rubric and it's attached to my assignment in Google Classroom. I currently am in WeVideo signed in as a student and the student is going to turn her video right into Google Classroom. And I'm going to show you how easy that is. She's just going to click on the Google Classroom. I'm also logged in, so let me make sure that it's the student that's turning it in. And she's going to choose the classroom and choose the assignment. Then she's going to attach it to the assignment, and now she's going to view it, and it takes her right in to her Google Classroom to her assignment. There are two things here that are attached. The first is the rubric that I already put together, and the second is the link to the video. So she's going to turn that in. Okay, and I'll show you what it looks like from the teacher's end. Okay, we have 12 students that have the video finished and turned in. It's not due until tomorrow. So I can go ahead and start grading. And I'll just pull up the first student here. And I'm going to look at Joe's video, but since you're probably not interested in that right now, we'll pretend we looked at Joe's video. And I'm going to go into the rubric. Now this could be an essay where I've just added the rubric to the top or the bottom. So I'm going to go to my add-ons and then I'm going to score the rubric and this is what I think is so neat. The rubric that I have pre-created pops up and these are uh, guidelines that were uh, mandated by the state. Uh, they had to describe strategies, tactics, techniques on their activity. So I'm going to say, okay, he's included those all. Excellent. Then it's going to pop up to the next one. Did they do the preparation, execution, and follow through? And you can see how these grades are weighted. This is the most important point. So it's weighted 35%. He did okay. He did the detail on three of the expected elements. Then the students were supposed to analyze the body position, contact, or release point. Uh, he did very good on that. And then they were supposed to come up with a practice plan. Okay, he was missing one thing there. And his work cited was perfect. Okay, now what I would do is process the grade. Uh, well, and you can see over here it pops up. He received 84 points or 93%. So I'm going to go back into my grades and Joe got a 84 out of 90. So then I would just go to the next student, Dylan, pull up his, pull up the rubric, and grade his. Now, I will tell you that the first time I did this, it took me a really, really long time. I probably spent eight hours on this rubric because I wasn't doing it right. And um, by trial and error, I figured out how to correctly do this. I couldn't find some really good directions out there. So if you're interested in using Orange Slice for a rubric, uh, go ahead and play the next section and I'll give you step-by-step -step directions. Thanks, bye-bye. I'm going to show you a couple ways that you can create rubrics using Orange Slice. 
First of all, we're going to go and we're going to create a new Google Docs because Google Docs is where you're going to put your rubric. Once I get into Google Docs, I'm going to go to my add-ons and I'm going to get add-ons. And I'm going to look for orange slice. Here we have the orange slice teacher rubric. There's also a student rubric that you can use to have students review their own assignments or their peers' assignments, but for now we're going to use the teacher rubric. We're going to click on free and we're going to allow Orange Slice to do the above. And it's working. Going back on to add-ons, we're going to go to add-ons, Orange Slice, and Score Rubric, Easy Release. And you can see over here, Create Rubric will pop up. You'll decide what performance level progression you want, if you want it descending or ascending. I'll go with descending. You can decide what performance level, if you want a traditional approach, if you want good, great, average, needs more. You can be creative and do smiley faces, emoticons, or you can create your own. I'm just going to go pick this, one of the defaults. Here they already have some ideas. These are categories that would be used in a written um, document, an essay. Let's say we want ideas are well supported and communicated, sentence fluency, vocabulary, conventions, organization. We're going to create the rubric. And you can see that in here, it has all that information that you want. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to decide how many points. Now the one thing that I found out that was fairly uh, difficult to figure out, I'm going to make this smaller, was that your total points has to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 times your greatest category here. So 5 times 5 is 25. So that would be a perfect score if the student got a 5 in every one of the 5 categories. Okay, so the category points are going to be 0 to 5 points. And we're going to finish. If you want to do grade adjustments, you would click on grade adjustments and perhaps give extra credit have a late penalty or a plagiarized penalty. And the assignment is ready to be distributed through Google Classroom. Okay, we're going to process the grade and we'll pretend that I have pulled up a student's assignment that has been turned in. So let's say he's done a good job on his ideas, on sentence fluency, an average job, He's had a great use of vocabulary and conventions very good and his organization was great. So now we're going to process the grade and you can see how it highlights what the student earned and what you graded. The student got 21 points or 84%. A couple of things that are really important to know is that you need to name this something that you can find easily. Let's say this is going to be for your first assignment. So let's call it 001 because that's going to be your first assignment and then we can go rubric. So this is your rubric for your first assignment. Um, now what I would suggest doing is we've got our rubric here and we've got, it's real important to have this grade in this part so this shows up on every paper when you go to grade. And then you could go to the next page 
and have the student type in their name, the date, a teacher's name, name and the assignment, or ho however you want it set up. Okay, and then you would maybe have the title. Um, let's say my summer vacation. So the student will go ahead and type it. They'll hand it in, but it, when it comes into you, this rubric categories tells Orange Slice that it's a rubric and it'll pop up over here for you to grade. Okay, we've got our rubric and now I'm going to show you how to add that rubric as an assignment into your classroom. I'm in the classroom now and I'm going to go to the plus button and create an assignment. Let's say the assignment is 001, my summer vacation. Okay, it is due on the 15th. And now I'm going to go grab that rubric out of my drive. So I'm going to go into my Google Drive and I'm going to look for that rubric. And it's right here. Okay, now this is real important that you do this at this point because you won't have another opportunity. I want to make a copy for each student and now I'm going to assign it. Okay, and there it is. All right, now we have the assignment in the rubric in the student classroom. So I am logged in as a student now, and the student opens it up and sees that they have an assignment that is due on April 15th. So they're going to open their assignment and see what they have to do. Okay, you see our rubric is there so the student can look over the rubric and see what's expected. You might want to put directions in here. The student is going to go and type about on the topic at hand is what I did during, oops, Okay, so we'll just pretend that the student has finished this. The student then is completed. They're going to go to the top and they're going to turn in their assignment. Turn in your work. Yes, I'm going to turn it in. And they now have their assignment done. Okay, now I'm going to go to the teacher classroom. And I'm going to go here and see that I've got one student that has it done. Open it up. I will read the assignment. And then I'll go and grade it. And once again, I'll go to add-ons, orange slice, and score rubric. It'll pop up over here on the side. And then I will go through and score her rubric. If you'd prefer, you can put the assignment at the top and have them write, and the rubric will be at the bottom. It's real easy to organize however you'd like. Okay, so this was an easy way to do a rubric because we use their default settings. Now we're going to go and show how you make it from scratch. All right, now I'm going to show you something a little bit more complicated. Uh, when Michelle Whitmer and I were doing this uh, PE video project, we used to use this rubric, and Michelle would just hand grade it. But we put these different uh, attributes and descriptors uh, from the suggestions or the mandates that the state gave us. But we have the description of the activity and the strategies, tactics, techniques, and a description of how the skills from this activity can be used. And you can just read that on down. So Michelle had put the points on 
uh, according to how much it was worth. Um, this, when they had to describe the biomechanical elements, the preparation, execution, and follow through, that was the meat of the project. So we made sure that that had the most points and that was 30 points. Um, in this particular instance, we had the kids already do their student work handout ahead of time. That was 10 points. They've already received credit for that. So now we're left with the 90 points. And this is what I had so much difficulty doing. Um, I had to create a rubric that I could use with orange slice. The most important thing is you have to put down rubric categories in the first cell. That is how orange slice finds the rubric in the document. That's got to be typed in that way. And then I was trying to figure out the points, and this is where I had problems, um, trying different combinations and it didn't want to take that. Well, I wanted a total of 90 points. So how I finally figured it out was I had the five categories and I had 18 points as the perfect score for five categories. And then I just kind of tried to just bring it down accordingly 15 and 13 and one if, if they were missing. So that was one of the hardest things. It doesn't look that hard, but it just took me a lot of time. And I don't think I was as happy with my descriptions in each cell as if I had more time. But anyway, that's what I ended up with. So I finally got the rubric set up and I went to Orange Slice, Teacher Rubric, and went to score the rubric. And once again, I have the box popping up. You can see the gray here. I wanted it a total of 90 points. And then you can see it does the category points, zero to 18 points in each category. You can see after I do that, that it puts a little code in here, six point font. You'll want to make sure you copy and paste that into the student handout so that you don't have to redo this every time you correct. So I've got my settings. Now I'm going to do the grades. Okay, now to get this menu here, I had to go to add-ons and the early release. And for whatever reason, that lets me go to settings and lets me do the category weights. And I want them weighted. So this allowed me to go through and put down what I wanted. Um, I okay, so now I'm going to put in the percent of the weighted, uh, the description of the tactics. I want 15%. The biomechanical elements are the biggest part of the assignment. And we stress to the students they need to focus on this. So that's gonna be 35%. Uh, 25% for the analysis of their performance, 20% uh, for their practice plan, and 5% for the correct work site. You can see it comes up to 100%. So now we have taken the different categories, and even though it says 18 points, 15 points, 13 and 1, you can see that we've adjusted for the importance of the categories and weighted them how we want to. Okay. And then the grades, I'll keep that the same. Okay, and then I'm finished with how I want that. And you can see it even puts in here the 20%, 35%, the 25%, 15%, and 5%. So, All right, now we're back full circle, and you can see how this rubric works out if you check the beginning of Section 1.